Hello everyone, in this video I will talk about text formatting in LaTeX. More specifically, how to change font style and size. Let's start with font style. Here I am showing you a table that summarizes the uh, font styles. For example, to make your text bulk, you can use text bf comment. And while doing that, we are writing our uh, text between curly brackets. So basically, the part I am highlighting shows how you can make your text bold. And you can see the output here. Similarly, for italic style, we will be using text IP comment. And you can see the output here. And for typewriter style, we will be using text TT. And for, for sans serif text SF. For uh, Roman font style text RM. And to make your text uh, small, like small caps, you can use text SG comments. And for example, here the example. And lastly, to underline the text, we will be using underline comments. And this output show how it will look like. Okay, so this uh, table just summarizes the styles. Let's move to the sizes. There are several comments that we can use to change the size. And these are, for example, uh, tiny, script size, footnote size, etc. To use them, we will be using these comments between curly brackets. Basically, uh, so when we write the tiny here inside these curly brackets, these make text tiny. And you can see the output here. The text is very tiny. And uh, here it doesn't have to be a single word you can use a sentence or several words and it will make all of them tiny and you can see other uh, comments as well for example uh, for huge we will be using huge comments and whatever we are writing inside these curly brackets will be huge and you can see the outputs so how the sizes vary for each comment now uh, since this tables just summarize the sizes, let me give you some examples. And after giving you example on how we can use these uh, comments, I will also specifically talk about F comment and compare it with uh, text IT, text IT comment. Okay. Now for now, let me give you examples. So our uh, example sentence will be uh, if you learned something new please like this video okay so that's our example sentence i by the way i really appreciate if uh if you like our videos and support our channel if you like them and if you learn something new so i will change like here so let me just uh, copy and paste my sentence you can see how it looks like when I didn't use any of these comments and specifically I will make this like bold so to do that we will be using text bf comment and after that I am using a curly brackets and putting like between these curly brackets and you can see how it looks like so now like is bold and let me copy and paste Instead of making bold, let's make it italic. And there we are using text it comments and now like is italic. Okay. So you can also use other font styles. Uh, for example, lastly, let's make it uh, underlined. So one last time I am copying and pasting my sentence. And instead of text it, I am typing underline. And again, like is between curly brackets. And now like is underlined. By the way, uh, we can also, uh, we, we don't have to just underline one word. We can underline the whole sentence or just some words. So let me move this underline before please. And let me move this curly brackets to end then it will underline please like this video instead of just like so whatever you put between these curly brackets it will be underlined and it's also valid for other comments as well and these are some examples for style 
And let me give you just brief examples for uh, sizes as well. So let me again take my sentence here and let's make this like large. Okay, I am opening a curly bracket and I am just moving this curly bracket to end and so it will look like this. So uh, maybe it's not clear like it's a little bit bigger than other words. Let's use huge instead so, to see the difference. As you can see like word is much more larger than the other words. And can do this for the sentence and that's why I am will be taking this here and taking this color breaks to end and now please like this video will be huge okay so you can also use other uh, comments for sizes let's move to the emphasize comments and how it's different from text it so let's use our example sentence again and now this is how it looks like again i will emphasize like so let's use f comment and just move like between curly brackets and it will emphasize the work word like okay so it's basically italic so similar to this one and to see that they are exactly the same i will be using text it and you will see that they are the same. So as you can see, the second and third sentence are the same. These like and these like are the same, even though I used uh, F or text IT comments, okay? But they are, they are different. And to see this difference, uh, let, let me make whole word, uh, whole sentence italic. So to do that, we will be using text comment again and okay so basically this will make the whole sentence italic but it will emphasize like word as you can see the sentence is italic all the words are italic except like because we are emphasizing it and to see the difference let me just change it to text it and Okay, so these two sentences are different in a way that in the first one, like is normal, and the second one, like is italic, like, like uh, all the other words. Okay, the emphasize basically emphasizes like in an italic uh, sentence in a way that it just makes it normal. And you can also use it for uh, bold text. For example, let's make it bold so all the words except like will be bold, like also bold, but it's also italic, so we, we are, because we are emphasizing it, okay? So, as you can see from these two sentences, F and text IT works work different. They are not the same. I think that's all about uh, font styles and font sizes. Again, uh, if you learn something new and please like this video and support our channel and thank you for watching it and please leave a comment if you have any question. Hope to see you in the next videos.